we have now 55 participants from all over the world. Congratulations. <laughs> hello, hello. Let's hello. take over to Nicole Ma. <laughs> so, dear participants from all over the world, on behalf of the World Choir for Peace, I would like to welcome all to our workshop with Kirsten Schöttel-Dreyer from Germany today. So my name is Nicole Matt and I'm the Artistic Director of the World Choir for Peace. Our goal is bringing people together from all over the world to sing for peace and to celebrate community, culture and diversity. Our slogan therefore is Singing Unites. So as you heard, we had already uh, 100 participants registered today from 200, from 25 countries. And so let us say hello to the following countries, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Canada, France, Germany, Hungary, Indonesia, Ireland, Norway, Netherlands, Mexico, Latvia, Italy, Malaysia, Philippines, Switzerland, Slovenia, South Africa, Serbia, Sweden, Thailand, the UK, and USA. Let me introduce to you now the people who are running this workshop today. So first say hello to Elizabeth Parsons. She's singing soprano in our choir and is working in our organization team. She will do a brief introduction about the workshop and will guide you through the workshop. So second say hello to Alexander Koller. He's singing bass in our choir and is one of the leading choir masters in Austria. He is responsible for the technical side of our workshop today. And third, say hello to Helen Osterview. She's a composer, singing soprano in our choir and is working on our organization team. And Andre Cruz, he is a tenor, a very good conductor, also in our organization team. And we will assist Kirsten today with the practical exercises. So before we say hello to Kirsten, I hand over to Liz for the introduction. Hi hey everyone. It's really nice and amazing to see you all here today. This is our third online workshop of 2021 and we have nine more workshops with some fantastic speakers planned for you all the way until the end of July. A big welcome back to those who've been with us before and hello to anyone who is here for the first time. And if you are new here and you'd like to catch up on our previous workshops, then please head to our website where you can watch all the sessions again. These were The Healing Power of Singing with Norbert Hermans, who's here tonight, hello. And the inspirational father of contemporary a cappella, Deke Sharon. Before we get started, we'd like to make some small announcements. The workshop will take place in English and will be recorded. The video will be made available to watch in a few days, so if you prefer, please feel free to switch off your cameras. However, as this is a practical workshop, we'd love to see your faces and see you take part in all of Kirsten's exercises. And all your microphones will be muted. Later on in the workshop, Kirsten will be taking your questions. So if you'd like to ask her something, please write your question in the chat. As this is a practical workshop, please make sure that you are set up and ready to go. Have plenty of space around you to move and you can either sit or stand to do Kirsten's exercises. And keep hydrated, cheers, and make sure you have good ventilation. This workshop is free of charge and we are so lucky that Kirsten will be doing this completely free for us. However, Donations to our cause are greatly welcome. And if you'd like to contribute, then please visit our website, worldchoirforbeast.org, where you can choose from several payment options. Your donations will go toward funding future workshops and subsequent publicity and advertisement, and of course, supporting the World Choir for Peace community. And we thank you so much for your generosity. Wishing you all lots of fun with this workshop. Uh, we really hope that Kirsten's advice will inspire you to keep your voice in good shape until the time comes when we can sing together again. With all that said, I'm going to hand you over to Kirsten. Thank you so much, Kirsten. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? I hope all fine. I don't see all of you. I have no idea who's behind all. I see now six pictures. But I heard there are lots of different countries and uh, it's really an honor for me to, uh, to be now with the World Choir for Peace. Thank you for the invitation, Nicole. Thank you for the organization of the whole great, fantastic team. 
And uh, yes, I was quite surprised that I was in, invited, but I had a very beautiful talk with Norbert Hermans in Cologne in the park, and he was telling me about his work. And somehow I landed here and now in my living room in Amsterdam and telling you a little bit about my work and what I do and about my passion for singing and my passion for holistic singing, which means that we should not only sing well, but we should also be good human beings by singing better. <laughs> so what I, what I do is what I say, if you, if you, do the right work in singing and your sound gets more beautiful you have also in the end are a more beautiful person and this is i think very important to reach peace which is very very important uh, for me uh, by art to 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 say something via art and to connect via art and via music so having said, said enough i'm a little bit nervous now because for me this is also a very uh, uh, um, yeah a situation which I don't have every day, uh, teaching so many people. I teach every day, lots of different people, but uh, so many, and if I, and I also can't see you, it's difficult. Do you, I hope that you can all hear me well. If you have any problems with hearing or understanding, please tell that to the write it in the chat, and I think Helen and Elizabeth will take care of it. So, first of all, who am I? I'm Kirsten Schattendreier, I'm a voice coach, um, I started singing in a choir <laughs> in the local town in Germany, and it was Brahms Requiem. And our cantor in the church was the most amazing person who uh, taught me not only singing, but loving music and showing me how important music is. Um, I'm teaching right now, but of course I started to, as, a, as an opera singer, I started I studied in, uh, in Essen at the Folkwang University. And then I did the lit opera singing concerts and lots of other things. But uh, in my studies, I got already a beautiful little child, which was not so easy as a woman to, to have a child in your singing career. So I went with my Dutch husband to the Netherlands and I was carrying on singing and teaching. And after, at a certain moment, I want to tell you this little story, at a certain moment in my career, I was standing at the Concertgebouw here to sing the Verdi Requiem, and suddenly my voice stopped. So I was a mezzo-soprano, I'm still a mezzo-soprano, but I was singing as a mezzo-soprano, and my voice just didn't work anymore. It makes me still very emotional to talk about this. Um, what happened? I had an allergy which was reacting on cold or warm temperatures, which means your vocal cords get warm when you sing. Yes, of course. But when you stop singing, so when the soprano was singing, they get cold again and they started to swell, swell, swell to get swollen, which meant I wanted to start again to sing and nothing came out. So I went to the doctor here in the Netherlands and he said, yeah, you have this allergy. So take lots of antihistamines, stop going into the snow, don't go out in the winter time and all of these things. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Either I can still live without medication, I can still live freely going out whenever I want or I don't want to live anymore. So I started to, to look for healing, self-healing, uh, uh, methods and I found Qigong for myself. I mean, you can find a lot of other things. And I went to Malaysia. First of all, I had lessons here with a wonderful guy it's called Daryl Collette, amazing uh, Scottish teacher. And then um, I went to Malaysia to do some uh, very special Qigong, intensive Qigong uh, exercises or training. And in the end, <laughs> I was singing with my teachers, with my masters, with my Qigong masters. And they said, yes, it's very interesting. Through the singing and through the music, our Qigong patterns even work better, Kirsten. So that was really amazing, being on an island, tropical island, and <laughs> doing your Qigong exercises, talking to these amazing people and who laugh a lot. They laugh all the time because their diaphragm is so free. I was just amazed. And they just 
they just wanted to rush in into my into my singing into my knowledge about singing and so this is was the beginning of my uh, combination of qigong and singing um, when i went back to the netherlands i thought i should really use that also for my teachers for my my, my teaching and my pupils and it was just amazing what it did to people. So I thought, okay, let's do that. <laughs> let's do a little bit more of that. And also I healed myself. I didn't take antihistamines. I'm going out in the winter. I go skiing. I love cold. I love heat. And it's all fine with me now. <laughs> Which means what I wanted to do is that I bring you into a state of mind where you can heal yourself or can heal your own system by just very simple breathing exercise, very simple patterns, very, very easy. And make you not only maybe feel better, but because you feel better, you sing better. It's quite easy, yeah? So actually, this is what I do, my teaching in Qigong, but I also like very, very much to work for projects where choirs are involved, where uh, people are singing which they never met before because there is a certain connection suddenly they have through the singing which makes them also friends and they help each other afterwards so we had different projects where i worked in and one i want you to show a little film now was called weltatem world breath it's called <laughs> And uh, this is a, was a project with a virtual reality experience in which you could learn to sing. You could learn to sing in it, you could learn to breathe in it, and you were part of a whole performance. What I did is I did with some, some wise guys who do virtual reality. I was trying to find out how can you visualize breathing and how can you visualize singing? So you were breathing into a microphone or singing and you could see what you were doing. It was part of the performance. And maybe you just want to have a look. Maybe Alex can show it. So this was a little extract of what we did with people singing in front of other peeping people and uh, uh, not peeping people <laughs> and um, yeah what it did so you were part of a performance and you were so you were heard by others but you were also public and I think this for me is very important we are always the one who is doing something but also receiving something as a singer you should not only send something away. That's not enough. We shouldn't send, but we're receiving. We're receiving something actually which goes through our body and which makes them sound. So this is totally different than putting our notes somewhere, putting our text somewhere. So this is some of a mission uh, of myself. So that's very nice. So what I wanted to have something here because there's so much stuff I want to tell you, but it's, uh, it's not, it, I have to have some notes. Um, so I want to tell you what is qigong actually. Um, qigong is actually, we have qi, which is actually air, breath, energy, energy like light, heat, electricity, 
but for me it's mainly the movement of the cells yeah kung is cultivation and work and work actually so we have the cultivation of the movement of the cells if we wouldn't have the mo movement of the cells we would actually lie on the floor there is not enough uh, not enough power from the moon actually to keep us upright no you can't you would fall down this is also when you get older we have also some people who are now a little bit older as, as, so we have lots of different people in ages that's why you go down a little bit that's why you get wrinkles actually the movement of the cells is getting less and what we can do we can help that with a little bit of exercise with breathing to get rid of some toxics actually and to get fresh energy in so you have lots of uh, uh, yeah you have lots of, lots of new oxygen and new energy also to to move through your body your muscle system in our the singers actually use a lot of big muscles mostly because it's easy it's easy to do oh, something like this yeah but the fine muscular system is very 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 important so what we do is we relax our big muscle system the ones who always want to help and then the fine muscular system can really play into it and we can sing piano and we have more air and our whole body gets a very fluent instrument that's very important to say so but on the other hand, it's not enough to do like Qigong or yoga and also sing. It's how you bring things together or meditate. It's how you are bringing things together. How are you, when you are exercise, doing exercises and singing, you should actually also bring some movements and bringing some breathing and sing, bringing in, do some meditation. It's very, very, very important to prepare before you sing especially choir singers they rush into the uh, rehearsal come from the car sit down have maybe a banana sit down and sing that's not what you should do it's so important for me to take this little time of two three four five minutes maybe to prepare your uh, let's say your your whole your instrument to come a little bit calm down a little bit to um breathe, do some breathing exercises, and also to have a sort of a preparation mentally and also emotionally. Because when you are very agitated, you're not singing well, the breath is high. When you're very tired, it's too low. So, and for that, we will do some, some exercise later on. Um, to show you just a little example, and then we will really also start to do something, and I will all ask you to come up. Um, to show you a little bit example of a martial arts exercise which I did with a group of singers in a mask class of mine and afterwards letting them sing hallelujah from Handel is maybe interesting so maybe Alex you can show that just very shortly So this was a martial arts exercise where you were standing in a, we call it the horse riding stand, which makes that the pelvic floor is really easy and that you're really from a very, you're very subtle in one hand, but you're also very focused with a very strong impulse, which should never be, be, be hard. You're singing something, but if you don't do that with your body, it will end up in your throat. That's why it's very important that we prepare the, the um, body a little bit. And how do we do that? We do some exercises using our hands. We're doing some Tai Chi movements with the breathing exercise. Why the hands? The hands have the same genetic material like uh, as the larynx. When we use the hands wisely, 
we can help the boys. If we use the hands because we are nervous, like I was at the beginning, really, <laughs> um, then you would do uh, movements with the hands which would bring you away from your center and from your singing, from your centered singing, because they, the energy would go into the nervousness of the hands. But if you use them wisely, you can uh, really help your breathing system and help your singing, your instrument, your vocal instrument, your sound instrument to function better. There are two very important things. The hands have different functions also. If you want to work with a, um, with a diaphragm well or make the diaphragm work well and also the pelvic floor work well, you should always think about this part of your hand. So, and we use it like, I put this down a little bit. So you should always use one hand low and up. So this, maybe you can do that. Just stand, or do sit. Just put the hands like this. Very easy. Nothing, yeah, very good. That's nothing we have to do. So you can stand up now if you want, because I will start to do some exercise now. <laughs> so we have this part of the hands is very much uh, uh, connected so with our diaphragm, with our pelvic floor, but also with our lower back. The lower back is super important for singing because the uh, whole diaphragm is connected from here down to the back, to the lower back. If, and mostly that back, we, we don't think about it. It's only, we only think about it when it hurts. But that's super important because the whole diaphragm is like a trampoline around the body. But that back part, we always forget. And with this little movement, we can just help it to work a little bit better. If we want the vocal cords, to the edges of the vocal cords, which are very important to work well, I must say, because it, it's, it's the, it's the fine tuning. It's the, if you want to sing piano, you need the edges, the, the stuff between the vocal cords, the fair, it's like, it's like nothing. Then we use the fingers. Also conductors do that sometimes when they want to, <laughs> when they were people. So then you do the same movement, but you do like this. I always use a downward movement and an upward movement. So we have going into the body at the same time, we lengthening the end instrument, yeah? For now, to wake you all up a little bit, we just do one really, really very simple exercise. Maybe you can get up, all of you. And what we do is just to make, if you want to like have a rehearsal or you have to go on, to, on stage and you're tired, we just do, we go forward a little bit, breathe in and just do very, like very stupid. Just can you all that do that? Come in, breathe in and very good. So this is very good to just do this. And because you put some just moving air into your face, it sounds stupid, but it really works. Okay. So first of all, what I would like you to do is just stand very easily. If you can't stand, it's really okay. You can also sit down, but it helps to stand. So what we think about is just Qigong makes what it does is, is that it uh, puts or gives you a sort of balance between your, your, your um, emotion, your physical state of being, and also your mental state of being. So it puts that a little bit in balance. To have that is very good as a preparation, not only for Sha Shaolin uh, martial arts people, but also for singers. What you do, you just stand still, do nothing, just stand still. You don't want anything, you're just there. Then just you put your hands very slightly and very, very loose on your belly button with both of the hands. Can you see me? I can't see you. On the belly button and just stand. Loosen your jaw. Just make sure that you have lots of space. Think your tongue is very loose. And also the space behind your eyes. Very important. The whole space behind your eyes is very soft and has lots of space. Yeah, somebody has his microphone on. Can you please put it off? I think it's Jane. 
put your just put your head on the belly button which we call in qigong we call that dan tian it's called the dan tian it's like a chakra actually and it makes you feel very much grounded so just feel the warmth of the dan tian and then just imagine that that whole area gets very soft behind your hands very soft very warm like like a fluid like lava you know from a volcano and it can go from the front it can just go to the back it could like go from the front from your belly button it could go backwards just the imagination you don't have to do anything it's totally just a little thought and then just try to feel how you're standing just just realize a little bit how you're standing whether you are standing a little bit to the front or to the back, maybe you go a little bit to the front like I'm doing, or go to the back, just very relaxed. And then just open the hands very, very slowly and imagine that your feet are standing in your hands. So your feet are very soft, like little cushions, and they are standing in your hands. The jaw is still loose. And you move the hands a little bit, you move them a little bit upwards and downwards. And just feel that your hips and feet are moving with it very, very slowly. Very nice. You do fantastically, beautiful. That's wonderful. And with that, you just go a little bit to the right and to the left. And feel also the heaviness in your feet, in your hands, the feet in your hands. But it's a heaviness which is beautiful because you're carrying yourself also. That's really nice, beautiful. Then put the hands very slowly back to the area around the navel, the belly button, which we call the dantian. And then just have a very beautiful thought, which is a technique and it's 5,000 years old. And it just is called smile from the heart. So it's just a huge, beautiful light smile from the heart. And with that, just very, very slowly, you can open your arms if you like, just feel that beautiful smile from the heart that really nice expansion in your chest that you really get a little bit of more space there. It's just a thought, you don't have to do anything. It's just a smile from the heart. And with that, just we remain a little bit like this. Maybe your body starts to move, that's okay. Maybe it doesn't, that's also okay. Just feel that just small expansion from your lungs, from your heart. Very nice, beautiful, that's great. Then we put the head, the feet a little bit together. If you want to stay a little bit like this, it's okay. And let the hands very softly go to the sides of our body, very softly. And then we are just standing upright. We're standing upright physically. We are standing upright spiritually and emotionally, just upright. Very nice. Beautiful. And then we just, we can do that when you do that alone. You can do that forever if you like, because it's nice. It's a little bit of a little part of the standing meditation. Let me just think about our dantian, which is the belly button again, and just rub our hands, just rub them in front of you, and then put them over your face like you're washing yourself. Very nice. Just wash yourself, and then away with that. Away. Yes, very good. So again, rub your hands. 
drop your hands. Then maybe you put them a little bit on your eyes. So you massage your eyes and then over your head, away from you. Yes, there you go. Fantastic. And then away with a breath. And yes. <laughs> Watch out. Don't hurt yourself. I saw Mayan. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, watch out. Make, make sure you have space. Huh? Make sure you have space. Yeah, and if you want, you can jump. If you feel well, jump. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I wish I could hear you. <laughs> Very good. Okay. How do you feel? Good? Super. I love it. <laughs> okay, so now I have another. So now that would be bring you, I have to Take a sip of water. If you have to take a sip of water, do that too. Mm. Okay, that's a sort of mini preparation. Of course, this is normally much longer, but this is the kind of small Qigong introduction in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, now I want you to open up very important parts for singing. I don't know how many, how much time we have left. Oh yeah. Okay. So what's very important is the inside of your legs. Believe me or not, they're very, very important for the pelvic floor. So what we do is again wrap your hands, and then just tap a little bit the inside of your of your of your legs upside, just like this. Yeah. Can you see it a little bit? Just like that. Maybe wrap it a little bit. Yeah, and then we do something really crazy. Watch me first. We go from the inside of the legs, we go around our body and we go through up to the head and we do like this. So from the inside of the legs, go up, 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 up and throw it away. So very important that what you do, you do with a, with a joy, with rhythm, and a good impulse. So when you start, just make sure you have nothing where you can hang on to or whatever. It's very just, it's very, I show you once. Look at me first, please. Inside of your legs, up, 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 and way. Inside of your legs, go up, 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 and there you go. Makes you very away. So for now, and then I want to massage that you massage your rib cage. Just massage your rib cage. Really go grab into it. Grab, grab, grab. Also the back, the whole intercostal system. Just, just grab it. Very good. Just do that. And then you go also to your chest. Really like this. The chest, the, 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 the inner chest muscle here, where the, the, the uh, I have to add another word now for in English. Brust, bein. Go in there and around and to the sides and to the back. And then just take your hands like this and do this, like, like, like a heart. Just do it and go, do it together. Can I put, can I have some voices for this now? I need some voices. I always get crazy. <laughs> it's so silent here. So just do and want to do it together. And one, two, and. Yes, fantastic. And again, from here, under your, you put the hands like this and then really go down like this. Yeah. Throw it away. Throw it away. And one more time. Throw it away. Yes, and one more time. Have fun. Throw it away. Very good. Okay. And then just very small, very small, very tender also around and then we do something crazy again we go around our chest for men's no problem for women's a different thing <laughs> one two and go <laughs> yes and it's not we have no fish hand we have energetic hands we have them in dantian they filled with energy it's not it's really one two and yes and one last time is one, two, and go. Yes, good. Very good. You all okay? 
So far, so yeah, good. lots of shaking here. Let me... <laughs> lots of shaking. I love it. Okay, now we do something else. This is very good to open up the chest. Very important for the lungs, for depression, for fear to open the chest muscle. The smile from the heart. If you think that, it can change your day. Not only your day, your life. It's very beautiful. And I see a nice colleague of my, mine, Elise, here. And we did Qigong together. We, she was in Malaysia, too. And it changed our life, really. Definitely. <laughs> he does this, you see? <laughs> OK, fantastic. Mm. So now, again, we come a little bit back to the Dantian. We calm down. And we just have a very small outbreath, very small, just like, just like, like a little wind. Very nice. And while you do this, I ask you to just imagine that the air would come out of your neck. It's exactly there where the neck is connected to the head and we have a little mold. Yeah, we feel that? So what we do now is we go forward a little bit. Just imagine a big pool of oxygen here. And I would take some air and put it through my dantian, which is down there. At the same time, I imagine some air coming out there. So we go forward and we do. Very good. And I will really ask you, also you, Andre, to go backward. Yeah? <laughs> it's because it's, no, I just saw you. Huh? It's not yeah. everybody, did. I just saw you. Andre, I, Andre is a tenor, and we do this together now a little bit. So yes. you go forward, and you do, yeah, yes. And it's list when you go backwards. When you so not forward, when you go backwards, just shake a little bit, shake on your heel. I do it once more. Look at me first. Go forward and just do. And then you open the hands, you let them go. Yeah. Can we do this together? Go forward, take your air, and go backwards. And there you are. And when you're finished, you never finished. When you're breathing out is finished, you never finished because the circle is not only round when the next phrase starts. Yeah, so for that, I want to show you another exercise and which is just that you go backwards and you breathe out right, left and right. You just do just three times and you very happily go backwards. Can we do this together? Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, Dantian, smile from the heart, nothing going on. I'm a happy person, I'm allowed to sing. We go forward and we do Yes. So what I see a lot is this. That's tennis playing, guys. That's not, <laughs> yeah. So the air goes out, but at the same time, the air goes also in into your body because it's, this, this, it's a circle. If the impulse to breathe out is well, the air come, will come in naturally. It will just come back. But if the impulse is weak, that's a problem. So if we throw the air away, then we can't get it back. So throw it into you and imagine it would go around you. It would go through you. Yes, so we do this again. Okay, just that. You know, there is no right and no wrong. There's only joy to do something. So we go forward and then we do. Very good. Can you just think one time that you throwing something into yourself, which is helping you to survive longer? It's not, okay, I do it. Can you just think, oh, there's something which is nourishing me. How nice is that? Yes. <laughs> so Birgit and Stefan are dancing, I see. So <laughs> I love that. Okay. So we go forward and we just do it again, but with fun. And very good. 
And now we do one big breath and we just go backwards as far as we can. So watch out and your, I just do it for you. And we just do this, look at me. You let go and you go up and then the hands go down and we shake a little bit. Yeah, so we go forward, throw the air through us, up the head. Stay, 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 stay. Be on, be on, be on, be on, be on, be on. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. There you go. So never stop being energetic when you have done your note or when you have done your phrase. Stay for the next one. So one more time. Go forward and it's out. Go down. Yeah. Very nice. So now we do just a little, with that, we just do a little uh, exercise with consonants. We build up, because I'm, I'm very fast, sorry, but we have not a lot of time left. Yeah, so Dantian again. That's lower, sorry. <clears throat> and now we just do the same. We do just with the hands, throwing some air into our Dantian. And we say just, <sighs> so we do, yeah, can we do this? And fantastic, yes, super. And one more time, go open and do wonderful. That's great. Now we do, and we think the goes through our body, and we shake a little bit. Our and imagine a, a crocodile's tail. We shake that a little bit, yeah. Why we do the zh. so <laughs> and do <laughs> yes, very good. And Helen, lengthen the body while you do the zh. Yes. So something is going into the ground and something is lengthening. It's just the instrument is getting longer. It shakes open, yes? So we go do that again. We do yeah, and go forward and yes. Watch out, the hand doesn't have to be so high. Yeah? It's really, it's something is going down and something is going up, but it doesn't have to be on top because then you go out of your center. Very good. All right, just breathe out a little bit. Let's calm down. For now, just think that you are having two half. Yeah, we are symmetrical. Can you just think that you are in, we are in two halves and in between, in the middle of us, through the whole body, there's a sort of like what you have in accordions, yeah? So, and everything can do this. Also the hips can do this. Yeah, just imagine that for the next exercise that we are not one entity, but that we have also in between us, we have some space. Yeah, for now, I want you to do a very, very simple exercise with the ya, and we just do ya, 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 ya. Just to talk ya and throw it through your body. Just do that. Ya, 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 ya. Very good. But I hear that. <laughs> that's not it yeah it's very enthusiastic childlike beautiful yeah 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 and we go forward and very nice <laughs> but i'm not so happy as i'm still think that the yeah 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 is a little bit it's not happy enough what can we do we can do a little breathing exercise before we just sigh and do Ah. Ah. Yes. Ah. And then we throw ah. the air down and up. Very good. Just do it again. And yeah. Ah. Okay. So again, I hear people ah. using their vocal cords. They do yeah. But I want the air going through just the edges. Yeah. Ah. Very soft. Ah. Yeah. Soft but energetically. Can we do it together? Let's do it together. Yeah. That was nice. That was it. 
just one more time and yeah. Very good. So it's very important that you don't end a phrase for pushing your vocal cords together. It's you are playing on the body. The body has to be on. Yeah. It's like, like a DJ, like a DJ who is who is turning his, his record. It it gets faster. It doesn't do it oh, it's not stuck. Oh. Can we do it again? And beautiful. That was great. And now we do just go forward and do yeah. Nothing else. And I want you to feel that you can go backward with that. And you're not singing, yeah, not here, but yeah, very, very relaxed. And we go forward. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Go forward. Yeah. Yeah. Go forward. Yeah. Very good. And can you not do? Yeah. Don't go up. I, yeah. On the body. It does this. Yeah. Yeah. And go forward. Yeah. Yes. That was a nice one. Yeah. Go forward. Yeah. Yeah. Go forward. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want, don't want the vocal cords to work first. First, the air moves, and then you just do, yeah, not, yeah, no. It's the air moves first, everything is on, you go forward, yeah, and, yeah, go forward, and, yeah, very good. Okay, now we do something else. Can you just imagine you have, some, put your hand on, on, your, on your head, like a crown. Feel the fingernails in your head. This is another Dantian we call Bai Hui. Elise knows it. <laughs> yeah, in Qigong. And just imagine down where the pelvic floor is, is the, is the other side of this crown. Yeah, it's like, and this, you should just feel that in between. You can, <laughs> yeah, you can move. So, uh, very good. They're good singers. Uh, <laughs> so with this now, with this feeling of this, this feeling that here it's open still, where it was open as a, as a child, and on the other side, the pelvic floor, we would just do, go forward and think we throw some bubbles and we do just do, and shake it. Can we do this? Yeah, go together. In. Very good. And now, very lazy, we do like a little bit of Russian mama. Yeah, so go forward. Okay, Alex, it's not one hand, it's two. Yeah, the thing is, we are working with pressure in different directions. So if we only do one hand, it will only work here. If we do only one hand downwards, sorry, I just saw you, excuse me, everybody, this was not mentioned to be you, but it's everybody's doing this. You just very clear. <laughs> so that, that's not enough. It's the combination. You should always check your hands with your dantian, put them on the dantian again, on your, on your belly button and feel the connection. That's the last thing I do with you now. And then I think we have to get it to some questions. And then when you just do, yeah, just go forward and. Very good. Okay. Okay, and now we just do the same when we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we go in. Okay, and what do I see? A lot of singers do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is all the time. We always very keen on upstairs, especially as sopranos. Especially as sopranos, you need the hand downwards. It's just the one between, you need to have your hands between your chest and your pelvic floor. Yeah. 
not higher than this. It's really going up and do yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, and let's do this together. Breathe in. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Much better. What I hear and what is very difficult to hear, what is very difficult to hear is the sound is rounder. The sound is rounder. You use your instrument more, your back, you use your back more. This going backwards, this leaning on your heel gives a relaxation in your lower back. It's very important. This hand going down is very important. Most we want to play with our hands what we already have. We have a very Obertonreich uh, voice. We do this all the time, but we have that already. We need the hand to go down on the body. If we have a very heavy voice, it's not moving. We need this more slightness we need the back more it's very important to find this yeah but how do you find this you go to your dantian you have a smile from the heart you don't expect anything you go forward and do yeah yeah so you go in yeah yeah <laughs> I love it. I heard a very, a very beautiful heart uh, uh, sound from, I think from it was Alex and Norbert. <laughs> very good, uh, very nice. This was round because you are getting, because there are so many things going on and it's online and oh, you don't know how is, is that I did it, get it right. But if you, if you really trust your own instrument, if you trust the center of your instrument with the Sir Dantian and uh, your smile your heart the smile from the heart it's very easy to sing it's very easy to sing it's no miracle <laughs> you know so please please try that try to get we use we um, call that the qigong state of mind i call it the singing state of mind be in there before you do anything and then every time you think oh but i didn't get that note oh but i should do something else Okay, step back, Dantian, smile from the heart, and start again. We every note we sing and every phrase we sing, we can start from zero. This is what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Thank you very much. As a very final comment, then how, how long should people do? Someone's asked how long should they do this sort of warm up before they sing? They bad? should in the beginning. They should maybe do like like twenty minutes or. They should make. They should feel how much time. I think twenty minutes in the beginning, and sometimes can be three minutes. Sometimes can be a second. If you just stand and think about your dantian and have the smile from the heart and just breathe out softly, and then you go. It sometimes can be a second, but it depends. I think in the beginning, just to have a feeling of it. Yeah, see what what feels comfortable. Never go over the point that it feels comfortable. Actually, because then like... you're training something which feels uncomfortable and that's nothing you should want to do. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to ask something based on that. Would you, would you advise everyone to do that once a day, even if they're not singing that day? Yes, uh, thank you, Andre. That's fantastic. Thank you. Exactly. Do it every day because it brings you into another state of mind. Alex, uh, it's, uh, it's Alex or Andre? And Alex. That, was, that was Andre. That was Andre. Andre, Andre, Andre. <laughs> yes, Andre. Alex, no, no. No, no, it's Andre. Um, no, it's very good question. It's very good to just do it every day. And so, only one minute, two minutes. Just stand, breathe, yeah, do whatever. Be very relaxed, but with, be fi find that sort of stillness in you. Find that sort of moment with yourself. When, and, and, very, and when you're distracted, try to come back. It's very important to do that before you sing, yeah. Thank you. But also without singing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kiss. And I'm going to hand over to Lizzie. Yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much, Kirsten, for your amazing and valuable advice. Um, we're going to take a lot away from this. And thanks to all of you, our World Choir for Peace community, for joining us and asking your interesting questions. Like we said at the beginning, we've recorded this session and we'll be putting as much info as we can upon our website in the next few days. Please sign up for our newsletter if you've not done so already for all the latest updates and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.
we have some really very exciting workshops coming up and it would be great for you to join us again. And finally, please feel free to make a donation to support our work as Kirsten has generously given us her time for free. It's very much appreciated. So now off you go and practice what you've learned today. <laughs> and we really hope that Kirsten's exercises will accompany you in getting your voice into great shape. Have a great rest of your day and we look forward to seeing you again at our next workshop. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank bye. You. Bye. Thank bye. You. bye. <laughs> Thank you.